Jolly and Steve have travelled up from Kent to join us at Gadget HQ. And we're going to start with helping them see better at night. Steve and Charlie, welcome to Gadget HQ. Thank you. Hi. It's lovely to have you here. Nice to be here. Now, Steve, can you just tell us a little bit more about your visual impairment? Yeah, I have retinitis pigmentosa, or RP for short. Um, fundamentally, it means that I'm night blind, so I, I have a real trouble at night. You're big fans of the festival circuit, aren't yeah. you? Tell us a bit about that. We run stages. I'm now mostly production rather than actually standing on stage and singing anymore. So I'm the person out back with the walkie-talkie. Um, and this one is generally fire performing on stage. Um, but then <laughs> once we're off stage, it's then a whole different kettle of fish. Right. So there's the festivals, but then also there's obviously walking our dog at night as well. So there are a few things that we need a little bit of help with. OK, so the tech that we're going to show you, I dare say you've thought about it before. It's, it's not new. I mean, we're talking torches. But we think we can address several of your challenges at once. Versatility is the key. So, should we take a look outside? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's OK, welcome to the great outdoors. The first torch we'd like you to try, and Charlie, I, I want you to put it on, please, okay. uh, is a headlamp. Ooh. Our first tech suggestion is from Petzl, and it's a head torch costing $89.99. I'm going to hope that this doesn't really mess up my hair, but there well, we go. It will. It will it's mess a up head your torch. hair. It can be pointed up and down to focus the head or towards the ground, and comes with three brightness modes. We think this would work for Steve and Charlie at festivals and on dog walks. Press the top button once. OK. That's low mode. OK. 10 lumens. Um, and in that mode, you'll get maximum uh, battery lifeage, which is 100 hours. Mm. Well, oh, that's quite okay. good. Well. Press the button on top again. This is medium mode, so this is... Oh, that's a lot um, brighter. 200 lumens. OK, so giving you a lot more brightness. Uh, press one more time. OK. Wow. That is 550 lumens. OK, that is really quite bright. <laughs> Sorry, it you're right. very bright, yes. <laughs> the torch is rechargeable via USB and features an easily adjustable reflective headband. Incredibly useful, yeah. Actually, it looks quite sturdy as well. Uh, the problems I have is a lot of them, you drop them once or twice and they break quite easily, so it actually looks like it's well made, which is yeah. really lovely. Yeah, I'm really actually quite impressed. The Petzl Swift also features reactive lighting technology, which analyzes how light or dark it is and increases the brightness of the torch as required. So if it's pitch black, you'll get a maximum of 900 lumens. Oh, so wow. you can find out if reactive mode is on by just covering the sensor. Yeah. In That's front. where it is. Cool. Oh. Then the brightness should oh, go up. Yeah. You see that? Wow, that actually works really effectively, That's really doesn't cool. it? I actually never seen that reactive light side of it. Yeah, 100%. Really interesting. So the Petzl delivers for close-up illumination, but how will this head torch fare in the distance? Oh, it actually does pick up on the side of the house. Oh, yeah. There you go. Move my head around. Can you see where it's going? Yeah. It's a good range for a head torch, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it actually is. Steve, is that brightness useful for you? I'm always going to want more, but um, for something this small and compact, it's, it's great. It's actually really powerful. It's actually, yeah. For the size, it's very good. This one will set you back $89.99. Wow! Ooh. OK, yeah. OK, I really like the responsive mode. I'm not sure whether it's worth £90. Understood. Up next is our second suggestion, the Geronic Hurricane LED torch, which can be transformed from a lantern to a handheld flashlight with the touch of a button. So the first mode, it's your classic torch. Okay. It's 18 lumen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Click again, and you've got a little oh, lantern oh, going on. Okay. So I think this would be great for a, like your festival setup. For sure, so for sure. So down that that's way. it. Now you've got it. And then you can yeah. hang it. Now. And now you can hang it. Create some atmosphere in your tent that's, or campsite. Yeah, hanging it from the roof of the tent. That's actually really quite a good idea. And if you press it one more time, then you can really create some atmosphere. <laughs> That's your rave <laughs> mode. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want to be more sensible, SOS. <laughs> There's two different ways you can charge it. You can charge it through a USB cable or you can wind it up. So for one minute of crank, you get 15 minutes of illumination. And I guess the advantage of that is that you just don't need a battery or USB cable. Really good if you're at a festival. Yeah. Just need crank power. Yeah, it's definitely a, um, a take to a festival torch for sure. What do you think of the Lumen? Because I know it's definitely not as bright as the first torch. Pretty torch. terrible. Okay. I would go as far to say. <laughs> so, compared to the head torch, it has got a more focused beam. So, if yeah. you're 
wanting to look for something close up, I think it would perform well. So if this initial first beam was a l just a little bit brighter, maybe 50 lumens, yes. it would be absolutely really good. It's like you just... said, for close up stuff, it does look like it's going to be great because the focus of the beam is quite, it's know, narrow and it's on it, but the second you take it away from that, it then loses its power. Which I need to be like sweeping the more. area to see what obstacles are in front of me, and I just couldn't rely on that in the slightest yeah, at okay. all, at all. I actually do like it as far as being able to maybe pop it up in the tent and hang it from the roof, mm. and like if you're trying to find your makeup or... Deep wear, brush, yeah. face wipes, exactly. Deodorant. So it's a pretty cheap torch. It comes in at 22.99. Do you know what? For that, it's totally worth it, actually. That's yeah, quite impressive. Yeah, that is very cheap, That's considering. A, yeah, and it's a big bit of kit for 22 99 that actually does work, and I would have that in a tent, mm. so, yeah. Yeah, it's worth its money, but maybe not for dog walking, just because that spot beam just isn't good enough at all, at all. Otis and I are pretty sure that brightness won't be a problem for our third suggestion. The LED Lenser MT14 is a compact torch that packs an incredible punch. It's mad powerful. Small Ooh. but mighty. 1,000 lumens. Damn. Uh, to a distance of 320 metres, and the battery should last nine hours in the strongest mode. OK. So please, illuminate the house. OK. First mode should be the Ooh, most nice. powerful, and that's the most focused beam. Yeah, very, very impressive beam. That Listen is impressive. Yeah. The torch comes with an adjustable beam, which can be operated single-handedly. You can um, move the slider back and forth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, isn't that good? That actually goes quite wide as yeah. well, doesn't it? Oh, I like this one. Yeah. It's also nice and small. Absolutely. Easy and to it, hold. it feels really well made. It's, uh, it's got a bit of weight to it. Nice, kind of smooth design. And, yeah, it's great. It's really lovely. The MT14 is rechargeable and offers three different powered light modes. The torch will last nine hours on the brightest setting, but in low light mode, it'll keep going for a whole lot longer. 192 hours. Blimey. That's hey, impressive. You can string all your festivals together. Yeah, to be can honest, that would do that long? long? Uh, yes, we, we can <laughs> wait for that long. And Definitely. It has been proven. <laughs> I would not doubt it. <laughs> So, dog walking then, really good for that? Yeah, perfect for dog walking, absolutely. Having that wider beam yeah. so I can keep an eye on where the dog is, um, is yeah, perfect. But not so much for festivals, though. I would lose this at a festival quite quickly. It's quite slippy, there's nothing to attach to. It's not mm. going to clip onto me somehow. Um, so, yeah, dog walking, brilliant. Festivals, no. Not so mm. good. Yeah. Okay. On to price then. This one will cost you £82.79. OK. okay. That's actually probably less than I was expecting it to be. Um, it's, it's really it's well made. It's very powerful. Yeah. Mm. And that is important. And hold on a second, I've not actually felt this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is quite weighty, isn't it? That yeah. is, you're right, it's really well made. I like it. Having pitched our three suggestions, it's time for Steve and Charlie to decide which piece of tech would work best for them doubling up as a festival and dog walking torch. If I had to pick one, I would probably go for the head torch to, to, to try okay. out that, oh. new, that, new, that new reactive light. Yeah, It would be useful for both the festival and the dog walking, whereas that is yeah. just a dog walking torch. That would be lost on day one at a festival. Yeah. So really, the head torch does win over that. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for testing our torches. What an illuminating result. <laughs>